ChatGPT is a language model that can be a powerful tool for network engineers. It can help automate and streamline workflows by processing large amount of data and performing complex analysis with its natural language processing capabilities. It can generate human-like responses to a wide range of queries related to networking, troubleshooting, security, and many more. ChatGPT is also a powerful tool for security network engineers, as it can generate human-like responses to a wide range of security-related queries. It can help security engineers stay up to date with the latest threats and vulnerabilities, as well as providing insights into best practices for mitigating security risk. Additionally, ChatGPT can help security engineers automate routine tasks, freeing up time for more complex security work. For those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host, name is Dean Armada, and I'm the Cloud and Data Center. And on this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, trivia and tutorials in cybersecurity, trivia and tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. in chat gpt interface via the web browser and we're gonna test if chat gpt is really that smart okay chat gpt give me let's say bgp configuration template for cisco router let's see its response oh he's still thinking now he's responding here is the BGP configuration template for Cisco router. Oh, look at that. He's really typing. And uh, this is a template. It uses router BGP and uh, AS number, neighbor, IP address, remote AS, etc. And look at that. There are explanations for each lines. So the router BGP plus the AS number just configures the router as a BGP router with specified AS. What else? The neighbor and remote AS just configure the router BGP session with specified neighbor router, which has a specific AS, excuse me, AS number as well. Now, the neighbor IP address source configure the router to use specified interface. And we also have a, a network, excuse me, neighbor IP next hub self. We also have the network address or the network network address. This advertises a specific network to other routers using BGP. And there's also a note here. You'll need to replace the placeholder AS number with your own values. Additionally, you need to add other configuration options depending on your specific requirements. So this is the output of ChatGPT. Um, yeah, that is fine. It still looks like you are smarter than other network engineers. Now. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to ask ChatGPT about his opinion, okay? I see a lot of STP discussion from CCNA, CCNP, and even CCIE. For me, STP is obsolete, okay? especially in data center networks. And knowing STP basic is okay, but talking about STP in an advanced way, in an expert level, I don't think so. It doesn't make sense to me, okay, because there's a lot of alternatives. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask ChatGPT if it's a good idea to use STP in data center. Shall we use STP in data center? And what are the alternatives? Okay, let's see if ChatGPT knows this. I'm going to hit enter. And yeah, ChatGPT is thinking. Come on, think. I want your answer. SCP spanning tree protocol is a widely used protocol for preventing loops in layer two networks. However, modern data center networks, SCP can cause performance issues and create network bottlenecks. And there are 
alternatives to SCP that are commonly used in data centers. Okay, so number one is RSTP, number two is MSTP. Um, not a correct answer because number one and number two is still considered STP. So what is the point? Okay, and um, number three, shortest path breaching or SPB is an IEEE standards. Um, this is, or this was an alternative. Yes, but no one's using this anymore. Also, TRILL is another standard, but no one's using it anymore as well. Um, to be honest with you, I am not impressed. Okay. Um, he should have at least talk about in Cisco, they use Fabric Path, but not using it anymore, or at least Cisco is not promoting it or marketing it anymore. Most data center networks are using the more advanced VXLAN, and ChatGPT doesn't know this. Come on, why? Now, I am back. This time, we're gonna ask ChatGPT if it can provide us a Python script for network automation. So, I will ask, Provide Python script for network automation. Okay. Uh, let's say Cisco. Can Python Cisco or, or Cisco network automation. There you go. So let's see his response or its response. He's still thinking. Come on, you are so slow. Certainly, here's an example, Python script for automating Cisco network devices using NetMeco library. Why are we using NetMeco? All right, so it's defining the device information with an example of IP address of a Cisco IOS. Okay, and he is adding comment. Look at that, replace with the IP address of your device. Okay, username and password. Okay, what else? Um, connection handler as NetConnect and then he sends a command. Here's the command that we want to run connecting to our Cisco router. Okay, and uh, okay, some of the commands that we can also run, but this time it's a configuration command. So this means it goes to the configuration mode. Okay, so this script uses the NetMeco library established as a SSH connection for Cisco IOS device. Send show command and configure VLAN. Okay, um, yeah, this is cool, uh, but we don't want to use NetMeco. NetMeco is for stupid. There is something better. Network-based API. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask ChatGPT again, provide Python network automation okay, uh, for Cisco Nexus. And I'm going to specify NXOS uh, API or NX API. There you go. Okay, and I'm going to hit enter. Let's see. Sure, here's an example. Find the script for network automation of Cisco Nexus using NX API. So he added import request, import JSON. Okay, and then username and password, the URL. Okay, and this is the command to the device. He added JSON RPC, the method CLI. Okay, send command to the device and print the output. So, yeah, this is quite the same on my example for this course, Python Network Engineer Data Center Use Cases. Anyway, all right, so this looks almost the same, although. There's no test, of course, okay, but there is more explanation. Like this script uses request library to send commands to Cisco Nexus using NXOS API. Okay, note that you'll need to replace IP address. You need to modify the payload and config payload variables to match the specific commands that you want to send to the switch. Not bad. Now, what I want to do next is I want to know if it can generate another Python script, but for Arista and uh, not via network-based API. 
let's see if he can generate Arista ZPP Python script. I'm gonna hit enter. Certainly, here's an example Python script for your touch provisioning on Arista switches. ZTP server No This is Now this is not what I'm expecting It's not something that I would use Send ZTP data socket dot socket. I don't know if this is valid. Okay, wait for the switch to finish configuration. Print ZTP configuration complete. And then there's an explanation that the script sends JSON encoded dictionary containing the ZTP information to ZTP server. And you need to modify the CTP data dictionary to match the specific configuration you want to apply to your switch. Since we're talking about Python scripting, let's ask ChatGPT if it can provide us a Python script for brute force attack. I'm gonna hit enter. Let's see. I'm sorry. But I cannot provide you a Python script for brute force attack. It's a type of cyber attack that involves trying every possible combination of password until the correct one is found. And it's an illegal activity. So what? As an AI language model, my goal is to promote ethical and responsible use of technology. It is important to always respect others' privacy and security and never engage in an illegal or unethical activities. If you need help with any other Python related queries, I'll be glad to help you. Well, how can you be a good ethical hacker or a cybersecurity professional if you cannot test a simple brute force attack? Come on, ChatGPT, don't be so boring. What do you think? Is ChatGPT is smarter than the average network and security engineers? Oh, by the way, the intro, the script, the contents that I used is all ChatGPT. Thank you.